The Traverse Bay Children's Advocacy Center represents an opportunity that comes rarely for a community, and that opportunity is to leave a lasting legacy, one where children are free from the harm that comes from sexual abuse. So when a family comes into the Children's Advocacy Center, they're greeted by Emily, our intake coordinator. And Emily's wonderful. She's great at making kids feel really at home. Uh, Gwen, our family advocate, follows the family through the court process and also helps them coordinate appointments and is a support person for the family throughout. The child is then taken into an interview room with a forensically trained interviewer. And the team that is involved, prosecutor, law enforcement, uh, Department of Health and Human Services, child protection worker, are in another room watching on a closed circuit TV the forensic interview that's being conducted with the child. The CAC provides a, a place where we can all come together to limit the exposure, the times that we talk to the victims. It makes it a lot easier to have a place to interview children that's child friendly um, versus interviewing them at the schools, at their home, or at the police station. It, really, the CAC provides the groundwork or a foundation for the healing process to begin. To make sure that children are on their path to healing, it's important first of all for them to be able to share their story. And, and research studies show that the earlier a child can disclose and the earlier they can get treatment, the better outcome they have. And one of the things I talk to parents all the time is that this does not have to be the defining moment of a child's life. It can be a piece of a child's history. But with growth and healing through counseling and family support, these children can just move past this, move through it, and move forward with their lives. You have to be able to let go of your past and come out on top of everything. And you just have to let it make you the stronger person in the situation. And you can't just mourn over everything that's happened. You just kind of have to take it as it is and realize that you don't want to live that way anymore and that you can make your future better. And it's a really beautiful thing because now we're seeing children that have come through the whole full circle of what the CAC offers and they're thriving, their families have been supported through the process, the offenders are behind bars, sometimes in prison for life for what they've committed. Our community is not much different than almost anywhere else in this country. Uh, child sexual abuse is abhorrent, it is difficult to talk about, and yet the commitment is being made to shine a light in the dark corners of this epidemic. I mean, it's just so important that we sustain the center. It's at the very core of a healthy society. How we treat our children, how do we care for our children, what's our vigilance in protecting them. It's at the very core of a healthy society. And we've ignored this for too long, and it's time.